help yourself when you read the test is read the directions and almost get your brain ready, get a little plan in your brain for how you're gonna read the passage. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Can you scroll down? To Actually, the... it's connected, so you can scroll. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I mean. That first sentence, directions, when I read this, I need to figure out what kind of genre am I about to read and then get myself ready to read that genre. So this says, read the poem and answer the questions that follow. So there's my word, poem. I've got a little light bulb going off in my head now because I gotta get ready to read a poem. And if the passage says poem, there's a couple of things that you can do to help yourself. And the most important thing is, you have to get ready to really get a picture in your mind because poets, when they write, they're trying to help you picture something in your mind. They're trying to give you some images. And so you've got to get your ready, brain ready to picture those images, okay? And then at the end, the thing that you need to be thinking about is, what's this poem about? Like, what's the story or what's the picture? And then you got to think, what's the deeper meaning? Teachers, we always say, what's it really about? Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, so the title says, Watching and Waiting. So I'm thinking about like, what does this poem have to do with watching and waiting? So I'm gonna read a little bit and I'm gonna try to create that picture in my mind. I practice soccer moves with Jason, captured slippery tadpoles with Aaron, Darted through cooling sprinklers with Jose. Planned monthly sleepovers with Megan. And reassured Jasmine during scary movies. Feels like a good place to stop with the period five lines. Okay, so now watch me. I'm gonna try to like really picture what's going on. So it seems like there's, I'm guessing it's a kid. It feels like things kids do. And I'm picturing a kid who has like a bunch of friends. It feels like all summer things to me, like catching tadpoles and practicing soccer and sprinklers. So I'm picturing a kid in summer who's got, you're with me, who's, who's got all these friends and like every day doing something different with a different friend. That's what I'm picturing right now. See how I did that? Okay. So I'm going to read the next couple of lines and you're going to do before I move on, I just want to check in with my title. Because titles are really important in poems. Does that tell me anything? Do I understand now about watching and waiting? I no. I mean, the kid's not watching. The kid's like doing stuff with his or her friends. So I don't know what that title means yet. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna read it. You start to make that picture in your head. Now they're all in middle school. Way too busy for me. Signing up for after school club, laughing about forgotten locker combinations, telling silly jokes I don't understand, traveling to places I'm not allowed. You getting a picture in your head now? It's like very different from the picture I had in my head before, right? Okay, so can you just tell your partner next to you what you're picturing? And it might sound like this I'm picturing. and how does it fit with watching? Tell the group. He was like watching all of his friends grow up and going to new schools while he was probably still in elementary school. Okay, tell me your name. Nakaya. Nakaya was thinking about, I'm starting to have an idea about the waiting part, right? Talk to them about what were you picturing? How does that fit with waiting? Oh, um, that they were waiting for them, he was waiting for them to hang out with him. I have a different idea. It is. I was thinking maybe that. 
that his friends could be two or three years older than him so that they're in middle school and he's still at elementary school and he doesn't understand like about after school club because there's not many of those in elementary school or lockers because there's none of those. So how does that fit with waiting? Um, because he's just waiting till they like kind of like not exactly he noticed him but until he's like in middle school and he's like with them and understands them. Um, I was thinking since the time I was watching the movie, he was the first time he was watching them grow up <coughs> and see a middle school and he was waiting for grades to grow up to do all this. Nice. So we made a picture in our head and then we kept thinking how does that fit with the title? Let's do that again. You ready? Ready to get your picture ready? Hopping on their racing bikes, whizzing and whirling by me. Picture that one. Their ears plugged with iPods. My friends throw me a quick wave. Turn to talk, what do you picture now? Or he said, I'm imagining. And then tell your partner, how does that fit with the title? Go. Um, in our head and one of the things that we did that helped us was we only read a couple of lines at a time sometimes you can look at just a stanza sometimes like I was trying to just read to, until I saw a period to stop we got that picture in our head and then we kept thinking like how does it fit with the title so we just finished the poem you guys so now is the hard work that we have to do as poetry readers we have to think about what's the poem about like what's happening here's the hard work we have to think like really about like, what's the lesson so I'm gonna say what I think it's about what's happening and with your partner you're gonna try to say but what it's really about or what it's really teaching us is are you ready okay so what the poem is about is a younger kid who used to have friends watching his older friends go to a middle school and start to have a new life without him. That's what it's about, right? Okay, so now with your partner, you're gonna say, but what it's really about, or what it's teaching us is, or the deeper message is, turn it off, go ahead. Yeah. Leaving your friends behind after they left you in the sorrow cycle, you're running 
Someone get us started. What what are some things that it might really be about? Go ahead. Friends over time can excuse me. Can you say that louder? Everyone look at him. Friends over time can just fade away. That's easy. <laughs> about all of these things, right? Yeah. Okay, so everybody, eyes up. The important thing that I want you to remember is when you are taking this test or really any test, or even when you pick up a book, if you see that word poem, the important thing is that you get your brain ready and kind of make a plan for yourself about how you're gonna read the poem. And one way to do that is Make sure that you're stopping every once in a while to really put those images or pictures in your mind because that's going to help you. Those pictures are going to help you figure out the deeper messages, what it's really about. Got it?